Hello guys, today I want to tell you about one PHP library which is kind of forgotten or rarely used based on a tweet by Matt Kingshot who is really awesome at tweeting Laravel and PHP stuff and he tweeted how to transform some number into for example 1k, 3m, 4b, 4 billions and stuff like that. But then in the comments Fred replied why don't you use number formatter and what is number formatter and how to use it all in this video. So number formatter class, which is in PHP since like 5.3, which is very old, it allows you to transform some number into various locales. So depending on the country, it would format it with dots and commas and currencies and stuff like that and decimal separators for thousands based on the country. The formatter is much more powerful. It's not only about the countries, but the documentation is pretty weak because all it has is the list of methods. So get locale, parse, currency and stuff like that. Then a lot of predefined constants here in the list, like grouping, fraction, secondary, stuff like that. Everything is integer. So what are the possible values? And you have to dig deeper to understand even how to use it. So I have experimented and locally brought it down for you to just a few examples that are most widely used. And here's my PHP file, index.php, it's not even Laravel. And I've created a local function and through that function I will show various features of that number formatter. So you do new number formatter with locale. You choose the locale, for example, by default it's English US, but there are other locales possible. And I will show you that in a minute. Then you choose the style, what will you format? Is it a decimal number? But other options are currency, percent, spell out for spelling numbers, and I will show you those in a bit. And then you set attributes for the formatter based on parameters in my case, and then you just call format with original value. And for example, get formatted number with just value of this number will output this first text. What changes? So the original variable doesn't have thousand separators and doesn't have zero at the end. That zero comes from precision. One of the parameters of number formatter is this set attribute fraction digits and how many digits. It's similar to a PHP function helper number format, but as a class number formatter is much more powerful. Then you have attribute of grouping. So grouping used is true or false. And if we experiment with different parameters, and here's where, by the way, we use PHP 8 syntax with named parameters. As you can see, there are six parameters here, but what if we want to use only two of them and not specifically the first ones, maybe set locale, override locale, or grouping used or something like that. And this is, by the way, interesting. That value is hidden, kind of a type hint by my PHP storm. And these are text parameters, value and locale. So in this case, let's experiment with changing the locale to Portuguese Brazil, then French. And also let's experiment with precision or grouping used false. What are the values? So here's what we have here. This is for Portuguese Brazil. Now we have dots and then comma here. Here's for French locale, which is spaces instead of thousands separators like dots or commas. Then for precision one, we lose the zero at the end, so it doesn't show the zero. And then here, if grouping used is false, then we don't have any symbols between those numbers. So here's how you can format the number based on the country and based on whether you want grouping or not and how many digits you want the precision to be. Next, let's take a look at the currency option and formatting with currency. So style parameter in my function goes as the second parameter of number formatter initialization. And one of the possible options, as I mentioned, not only decimal, we can override that with currency. And if we actually don't provide any currency, then if we refresh, we have dollar because it's the default currency. But if we change that, for example, to currency code, euro we refresh that and we have euro sign here and probably you have a question where do you have all those signs and potential options to locales and currencies so currency codes are according to iso standards this number you can google it out 
So I will zoom it in a bit. So those three letters are for every country of the world, like Egyptian pound, like Indian rupee and others. Like for example, if we change that to INR, INR and refresh our page, we have Indian rupee. So the number doesn't change, but the sign changes. And if you combine that with locale, for example, let's go back to Euro and France. Locale would be French, like this, underscore, but locale should be higher. So locale like this. The order of the variables is still important if you even use the named parameters of PHP 8. And we refresh and see what changes. Spaces here and Euro at the end, not at the beginning. So combined with locale and currencies, you can format the numbers for your invoices or just visually on the screen. And in terms of locale, it depends on what locales are installed, by the way, on the server side on the Linux. And for example, in my case, locally, I can run locale minus A, I think. And it lists me the locale that are here, like my local Lithuanian, Norway, this is Greek from what I remember, and others. So there is no one definitive list, but you can Google it up also or take it from that list. But actually, if you are doing local based project, probably you know your locale by heart by the country that you live in. And finally, we get to the examples that I mentioned in the very beginning with the letters. So instead of creating your own function in PHP to have like K or M or B, you can have padding position. One of the styles is padding position and also similar to the words is spell out. Also, there's pretty useless in my opinion percent, but I wanted to show you that number formatter has that capability as well. But let's refresh and see what it has for us. So the number I remind you is this, so 12 million and padding position transform that into 12.35M. That 0.35 comes from the precision of two. If we change that to precision, three, let's try to do that. We have three, four, six M here. So it counts the precision from this number, number of millions. And another style of spell out is basically spelling out all the words. Sometimes it is important again for invoices and stuff. And by the way, the whole number formatter, I think the number one usage is for money transformation for invoices and for viewing the numbers with the currency and with the format according to the country for accounting purposes, I think. But also I wanted to show you, as I mentioned, the percentage. I don't even have a case where you would use that. But if you have a number, for example, of fraction and you want to transform that to percent with precision again, you can do it something like this. Again, if you want precision to be one, for example, like this, it would be 12.3. So maybe it is useful after all. Instead of using number format PHP helper, you can use the number formatter class or even define your own function like I did here. What do you think about number formatter? Have you used it or will you use it after this video? Or do you have any other tips and tricks or maybe more widely used parameters from the documentation? Share in the comments below. And if you want to support my mission of daily videos here on this channel, check out one of my or more of my courses at laravaldailyteachable.com. The latest one is on Livewire. Currently, I'm shooting the one on Alpine, which should be released in a week or two. So to get all of that, you can sign up for the yearly membership, which is probably the best deal because for $99 per year plus taxes, if that applies to you, you get 25 courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.